Coca-Cola has drawn the ire of environmentalists after a 2019 report found that it was the largest global plastic polluter. The giant is finally taking steps to go plastic free. And there is a chance that we might be able to sip our soft drinks from a paper bottle. If everything goes according to plan, well, I'm sure you must have plenty of questions in mind. I'm Nidhi Kumar and you're watching Science Time, a show that brings to you the latest that science has to offer. Today we talk about developments that could stir your curiosity, zeal and passion. In today's episode, we will tell you about Coca-Cola going plastic free, safe drinking water on wheels, silkworm diet being changed to produce stronger silk. So without much ado, let's dive in. Going green has become the new mantra. Business, both small and big, are looking for innovative means to lower their plastic footprint. Now, Coca-Cola is joining the bandwagon. They will test a paper bottle as an alternative to plastic. How exciting is that? Now, you might have some questions. Is a paper bottle strong? Would it prevent gas bubbles from escaping? Could paper fibers fall into the drink, thereby diminishing its taste and safety? This is where it gets interesting, friends. Coca-Cola is a carbonated drink. It is bottled under pressure, which gives it its unique taste. The challenge is to develop a paper bottle capable of bearing this pressure. Helping the company is a Danish startup, Pabaco, which developed this 100% recyclable paper bottle. Only last year, Coca-Cola assessed how the bottle performed during refrigeration and the other scenarios. Recently, the BBC reported that the company would put the bottle to test on the ground by distributing 2,000 of them in Hungary's local retail chain. It will hold Coca-Cola's fruit drink, Edez. Now, let's look at some of the features of this paper bottle. It is a paper fiber based material which is molded to strengthen the bonds between fibers so that they don't flake off. They also plan to use a plant based material to coat the inside of the bottle. That would prevent any direct contact between the contents and the paper. Think of this as an extra seal of protection. Brands have become more conscious of their plastic footprint. But dethroning the cheap and easily available plastic is not going to be an easy task. Here's hoping all of us do our bit to building a sustainable world. And moving on to our next story. Less than 50% of Indians have access to safely managed drinking water, according to UNICEF. Entrepreneurs are tapping into technology to ensure that people's fundamental rights are met. A Noida-based company named Janajal is going one better. Thanks to its eco-friendly solution, Janajal Wow, that's water on wheels. Their three-wheeler electric vehicle, which is GPS monitored and secure, aims to deliver safe and affordable drinking water at people's doorsteps, especially those residing in rural areas. The Ministry of Jal Shakti has recommended Janajal Wow, that is water on wheels, to deliver the $50 billion drinking water scheme under the National Jal Jeevan Mission. The government initiative aims to provide a working tap connection to every rural home by 2024. So how does Janajal work? Each vehicle has a capacity of carrying 600 litres. The developers aim to provide up to 2,500 litres of safe drinking water to people's homes every day. You might have some questions, for instance. How will the company avoid any unauthorized refilling of water? Well, the vehicle is armed with technology and monitors in every water plant installation remotely in real time. It promises to supply safe drinking water according to BIS and World Health Organization standards. And it is designed to function like mobile water ATMs. The company believes that the widespread adoption of Janajal Wow would support the government's push to embrace clean fuels in India and reduce our dependence on gasoline. The vehicles are already on the ground and they have delivered over 100 million litres of safe drinking water to Delhi, NCR, Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra and Gujarat. So far, the Janajal Wow has reportedly eliminated 25 million 
single use plastic bottles and help to save over 50 million liters of water this is some encouraging news friends indeed and moving on to our next and last story most of us admire elegant silk sarees but silk is more than just that did you know that this fiber is safe enough to be implanted in our bodies it is also known for its strength and elasticity scientists believe that it has the potential to be weaved into bulletproof wares so researchers are investigating ways to strengthen the fiber further we have ways of achieving that though but it requires the use of toxic chemicals that are harmful to both humans and the environment researchers from Tohoku University have come up with a solution, modifying the silkworms diet. Typically, these worms in the wild feed on mulberry leaves, which gives them the right nutrients to make silk. But by replacing this with a mixture of commercialized feed and cellulose, nanofiber or CNF, the silkworms generate silk, which is light, strong and sustainable. CNF are tiny fibers produced from wood materials. The silkworms on the CNF diet give rise to silk strands containing CNF. When tested, these fibers were two times stronger than the conventional ones. The study demonstrates an environmentally friendly way to produce sustainable biomaterials by simply including CNF. And with that, Friends, this is a wrap on this edition of Science Time. Stay with us every Friday at 9 p.m. Keep watching India Science. Namaskar.